today we're gonna paint this picture right here I took it actually a couple couple years ago it this is in Hood Canal in Washington I believe it's during about yeah I think it's during about like a fall season so it's already quite chilly back then and then we visit there it's a really beautiful place and but it was kind of cloudy and foggy all the time so I took this photo and I thought it would be great for watercolor painting because the atmosphere and everything so let's just get started this is a very simple painting and we definitely don't want to overdo this and if we can capture the essence of the scenery I think that will be great so I'm going to just kind of get started I'm using a bigger paper this is almost 14 by 20 but I think for scenery this big this might be nice to to kind of do that so I'm going to use some bigger brush and to do some work but again very simple scenery and just not a lot of detail and not even a lot of colors actually it's pretty quite monotone we like a quiet monochromatic painting, okay? Alright, so yeah, let me know if you can hear me clearly. Um, I'm testing yet another different mic because the, the mic that was broken, they sent me a new one. So I thought I'd do them a service and try to use their replacement one. If at any point of the demo the sound is broken again and everything then let me know I'll switch out the mic all right without further ado let's just get started and, uh, thank you simple shoes all right so good to know good to know the sound is great so let me actually clean my palette just a little bit. Okay, so if I just dump some water to it, and I'll be able to kind of just melt the paint on top of it. So we got somewhat of a nice clean palette. And I actually forgot to re-wet some of the paint here. So I'm gonna spray some water on it, try to revive it. I share with you guys that I got quite a bit of uh, mission paint but I haven't used them yet because I want a new palette for those colors so this color most of them are still Daniel Smith's color I you know I can't just scrape them off and start to use a new one because there's still quite a bit of paint on it but you know what just start so this pile will be my cool pile very very simple you know ultramarine blue cobalt blue and I'll get a touch of burn umber and that will neutralize the blue a little bit we need to get this kind of neutral gray or we'll add a little bit blue back to get a nice cool gray again so it's the balancing act okay so we're looking at that gray here that looks like a good gray so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add, grab some more water on it because this is the first wash and I don't want to be very opaque and I think this is what I'm going to do something I never really done it before but I'm gonna do it this time I'm gonna grab a huge gigantic squirrel brush I'm just gonna do clean water on top. I feel like I need to kind of pre-wet this paper a little bit. It's a nice large paper and this is a completely new brush so start to see some hair kind of falling off here which is kind of annoying. It's not gonna kill the painting but it's a little bit annoying Let me see if I can get that tiny hair off. There we go. Yeah, get that hair off. Natural hair 
brush tend to fall tend to have hair fall off a little bit more often in synthetic hair okay so I'm just gonna grab that off okay all right so okay I actually didn't do drawing on this painting I actually don't think I need to I think the most part that I will probably do is to I will have my you know the land here and I think I will have my I'm gonna do a boat here it was a little guy rowing in the boat maybe give him like a partner and that's pretty much it I think rest of the stuff I'm just going to improvise so this is the only thing I'm really going to draw the rest of it I'm just gonna leave it be so okay well, I'm glad the weld is sort of big enough so I can just paint that okay it's the first time I use a brush that this big so I don't know how it's gonna turn out hopefully good enough okay. Okay, now there's a tiny bit more paint little bit of gradation not much at all okay okay I think that's good enough we got a too big wash there a little there amazing voice <laughs> thank you all right so I'm just going to continue this wash down Okay. I'm not gonna leave any white uh, I don't want anything to jump off too much if you look at the, the if you look at the if you look at the picture there's actually not thing that's really bright it's not a broad sunlight so there's really no need to really no need to paint uh, and leave out a lot of white so the first wash I mentioned numerous times is always about light and atmosphere okay so look at how clean that wash is I love it okay make sure you use plenty of water and I paint tilted so the water naturally flow down look at that bead right here okay Alright, so as we come down here, I'm going to use a little bit of purple, but you know, start to have it like a fraction darker. Great timing, hockey just finished. <laughs> I hope the team you're rooting for won. little bit darker as we come down here okay now without digging back to the water bucket let's get a nice dark finish down here okay okay so just There we go. Nice gradation right here. Okay. Okay. You guys feel the atmosphere is already there. It's quite nice. Okay. There's another view here, right? So the boat is right here. And we have 
from light to dark, right? So if I zoom it in, I pan down like this, you see that subtle gradation from top to bottom. Okay, some wonderful, wonderful washes. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do think before it is dry maybe I will give it a tiny bit of breakage here a little bit of subtle ripples right here so I have a so I have a brush and I'm just gonna squeeze out the water so it's kind of like 80% half dry brush and I can just get a little bit of light in here so just a little bit of disturbancy okay okay I, po I apologize for the camera being a little bit too light I forgot to the aperture okay this should be good now yeah okay all right now I'm gonna blow this thing dry so I'm gonna mute the microphone Okay, so this should be dry enough. We can re-wet the paper and work on it. But I think I'm gonna still do a little bit of drawing just for the sake of it. And I think that we will have our land, our island. We'll have that here. And we'll stop here. Okay, so very faint drawing I really don't need a lot of I really don't need a lot of uh, silhouette and detail and then we'll have there's some houses on the other side of the river and I definitely don't need to put a lot of detail there it really doesn't really matter that much again we're going for as minimalistic as possible Okay, and there's some flotation stuff. I think I can kind of draw them in. They can serve as a little bit of space maker, so it feels there's a little bit more space going on. Okay, I have a stick right here, and this line is the horizon, but I'm actually not going to draw the horizon I don't feel we need that the horizon is so faint it's almost disappeared okay. and I'm one I'm wondering if I need a foreground element to it no I think we're, this is I think this will do all right okay okay I think because of the paper there's a little bit of darker dot noise here it's the paper it's not evenly textured but anyways shouldn't hurt so what I'm gonna do is to re-wet the surface now look at how misty and foggy the top of the those the, the hills are the distant hills so we definitely need to wet it quite a bit now I'm not going to oops 
try to clean this a little bit more. So I'm gonna re-wet it like a little bit randomly. But see it kind of gets sharpened as it gets to the edge here because the mists are mostly here. So I'm just gonna wet this like that. Okay. Grab a paper towel and just you know, get rid of the water edge here. And still quite a bit of moisture. Actually, let me spray some water on it just for it to last a little bit longer. Okay. Now, again, it is very, very cool. Like a nice cool gray. So a little bit, I'm gonna add a little bit of turquoise just to get that little hint of tree color, but it's very, very faint. And actually I need to mix a little bit, a little bit drier, so I get a little bit more paint in it. Because once we hiss the water, it's going to dilute quite a bit. So here we go, you guys ready? one single stroke okay there we go there so the detail will be here which i am going to use a smaller brush for that The hints of trees on top here like so not too much though okay again minimalistic with that includes the brush stroke right here to the edge of the water and we are good That's makes a little bit warmer color down here. Okay. I'm actually going to use my Kolinsky brush for a little bit better control here. Okay. Use the bead to bring that wash down. Okay. And just very randomly, very subtly leave some white okay okay we need to make it a little bit darker okay so as it comes down here it gets a little bit heavier bit of dry brush here I feel just to get a little bit more texture going okay and get a nice clean edge down here bit hints of detail here and there but I'm not zooming in on the photo because those details are really not that important when it comes to when it comes to the whole painting and composition let me spray a little bit of water keep that wash 
life for just a little bit longer. Okay, I actually want this to be a little bit higher. Hopefully, we still got time for this. Okay. A little bit splattering. Got a little bit of weird soft edge here. Let me try to disturb it a little bit, see if it go away. Okay. I'm gonna use a smaller synthetic brush and give it a little bit hints of warmth around the house. So maybe somewhere around here we give it maybe a rooftop, maybe something. But instead of just everything white, we just give it a little bit different color tone. Very subtle, warm and cool difference here. Okay, so the bottom, because it's you know, quite dry, we are almost at the end. It's drying. Okay, so now what I can do. Before it's dry, okay. Before it's dry, I'm going to grab a little bit of dirty colors, you know, a little bit warmer tone here. I'm gonna go over it like this, right on the edge, the bottom. So that will give some subtle hints of the beach down there. I say beach, but don't think it's like you know nice white sand beach it's mostly just rock and little pebble stone and things like that okay now i'm just going to grab water okay actually just for just for the cleaners i'm gonna to change out this water bucket to clean water. I really do that, but I think for this one, we, I kind of need to do that. So give me a moment. Okay, I'm back. So let's continue. What I'm gonna do is to just use that clean water, actually bigger brush. Big squirrel brush, okay. Give it some water and just gonna continue that Again, right on the edge, okay? Don't go back to the heel there. That's gonna ruin that wash, okay? It's a good time not to touch it anymore, okay? Okay, and... Okay, I'll try to skip around those floating sphere thingy. Okay. Just clean water, okay? Just clean water. And let's paint the reflection of the island. Let me zoom it out just a little bit so you can see better, okay? Okay, 
again I'm just gonna spray a little bit of water in the distance keep that wash a little bit longer okay now we'll mix a I'll make the reflection a little bit cooler but still in, in that gray yeah it's so about 40 and 45 degree okay so hopefully this will be hopefully this will be dry enough okay Okay, just let it flow okay this is the reflection of the island let it flow okay I'm gonna use a sort of a clean brush and I'm going to soften that edge right here okay so it's not gonna be as fuzzy and stuff oh water dripping down don't worry about it just blot it out Okay, I'm actually gonna very gently dab the water out so it's just soft, just a nice soft reflection there. Okay, actually it can be a little bit darker on the top here. So let's see, hopefully I still have time to just add a little bit more here. Okay, the control of wetness is crucial for this okay. and also not doing too much okay again minimalistic it's the concept of the century apparently everybody's going for minimalistic feel all right let's take a look as a whole painting right we've got the island we've got a reflection very very simple get a nice clean brush and I'm gonna get that ripple in okay nice clean brush about about half I'll say 60 to 70 percent dry there we go okay I'm actually gonna grab a little bit of water and a little of this paint here and get some really subtle ripples here very subtle okay just very gently touch the paper and glide across the surface okay. I think that will be it all right let's leave that thing be and let's just do our boat here okay, okay I'm just gonna keep it nice and neutral here so a little bit of neutral tint I would definitely need to make it uh, quite opaque because compared with the distant island we want to have it pop up there's actually no boat in the photo that thing there that's kind of like a platform I don't know what for you know, maybe the boat can kind of duck there and people can sit on there or something but I'm just gonna change it into a boat and uh, again okay even something a little bit more complicated in terms of shape we'll try to keep it as clean as possible get the shape get the nice shape exaggerate it 
just a tiny bit. Okay, we got the people here. So it's mostly just a silhouette. Okay. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Life is just too complicated sometimes. Simplicity take it down a notch. Ooh, I couldn't agree more. Okay, now let's add a little bit more pigment down here. Load up that bead here. And I'm just gonna like the brush, not too wet, but with a little bit of wetness. See, I load up my brush with water, dab it out on the foam, the, the rag. Okay, so we have a little bit of moisture and we just bring that pigment down. Okay, and there we have the reflection. And now, the clean water and just soften that edge all the way out okay soften it so it just kind of disappear oops it's too blue I don't know what I was thinking oh. There we go. Okay. This little shape is gonna bug me, so I'm just gonna use a dry brush to clean that up a little bit. Okay, and then there's just some little bits and pieces of details. So a little, oops, little sphere thingy. They're pretty much just like a little dots or something. Okay. Give it a little bit of reflection. Can kind of just wipe it off with your finger, actually. And there's a little duck here. Let me see. I think I'll just maybe do it. Let me see. Yeah, maybe just do it here. One, two, three. It's a little three shape. Oh, tiny little bit of shape. Okay. Just little hints of reflection as well. And we'll get a little flying bird here. Okay. It's so tiny. Oh, thank you so much, fun stuff. Yeah, I remember you. Be another one here. All right. Now, let 
Let's do another very faint distant land back here. So I'm just going to wet this area. Okay, make sure my brush is nice and clean. Wet this area and mix a nice cool gray color and just going over it like that. Am I a full-time artist? That's a tricky question to answer. Technically, yes. Okay. Am I a full-time watercolor artist? No. My day job is doing video game art. So, has doesn't have much to do with art watercolor. I'm a background artist for a video game. So, it's mostly digital. Watercolor is something I do outside of work, but I enjoyed it so much. I started about two, three years ago, but I enjoy it so much, I just keep it going. Hopefully one day I will be able to do this full time. I enjoy this very, very much. Okay, So I'm just gonna let that thing dry on its own and uh, yeah, actually just wipe that bead off a little bit very gently wipe that off now we have a very subtle hints of island back there and that's just what we need here oh thank you Joso ni hao yeah, um, my, you know, I can, I can show you a little bit of digital stuff later after I'm done with the painting, which I'm pretty much done, okay, which is about half an hour, a nice, quick painting. I enjoy it quite a bit. Yeah, I think, I think this is pretty much it. I don't, I don't think there's a lot I don't think there's more things I need to add. Let me just blow it dry and I can add a few hints of dark and that will be it. Okay. So, okay, tiny little bits, hints of dark. And the bottom of the boat too is, should be a little bit darker to anchor it down a little bit more. And that will be pretty much it. Like the duck maybe. But yeah. I'm just gonna keep it the, the way it is. Okay, I think this is. There will be recording, so don't worry. Okay, so. Alright, so I'm going to. I'll, I'm, I'm going to call it a day in terms of this painting. If you stick around, I'll show you a little bit of my digital work if you're interested. But for those of you who are watching, the recording thank you for watching subscribe to my channel hit a like button if you want hit the notification bell I know it sounds cliche but every time I have a live demo you will get notification if you're interested in so I will see you guys later